from the newsroom at news.com.au. G'day, I'm Andrew Bucklow and this is the latest from the newsroom. It's Tuesday the 22nd of June. Barnaby Joyce will be sworn in as Australia's Deputy Prime Minister this morning. It comes after he defeated Michael McCormack in yesterday's Nationals leadership spill. Last night on Sky News, Alan Jones revealed that Scott Morrison isn't exactly a big fan of Mr Joyce's. The true reality is that while Morrison was backing McCormack behind the scenes and can't stand Barnaby Joyce, it's Barnaby Joyce's leadership that will paradoxically save the government and Scott Morrison's Prime Ministership. Mr Joyce is in for a big payday after winning the party leadership. His salary will now increase from $211,000 a year to $433,000 a year. Not bad. To COVID news, the head of the Therapeutic Goods Administration has warned that people need two shots of a vaccine in order to protect themselves from the highly infectious Delta variant. The warning comes after New South Wales Premier Gladys Berejiklian revealed yesterday just how easily the virus was spreading. In some instances, the exchanges have been scaringly fleeting. Coming into the same airspace has seen the virus transfer from one person to another. That's how contagious it is. The COVID-19 cluster in Sydney's eastern suburbs is currently sitting at 11 cases. In other news, cricket legend Stuart McGill has opened up about his traumatic kidnapping and the toll it's taken on him. He was allegedly stripped, assaulted and threatened at gunpoint for an hour in April before being released by his captors. I've thought about it probably 20 hours a day ever since. I found myself in a position I couldn't do much about. Couldn't have done anything differently, I don't think. I don't really know. I've I've thought maybe I could have done something different, but then I wouldn't probably be sitting here talking to you. Four men have been charged over the alleged kidnapping plot and it's been reported one of the men charged is the brother of McGill's partner. Actor Samuel Johnson is in hospital after being hit by a car. Johnson's sister broke the news on Facebook saying the Gold Logie winner is awake and that medical staff are taking care of his sore head. In other news, Bindi Irwin has announced she'll take a break from social media and her work in the public eye for the next month. It comes after she made a series of shocking allegations about her grandfather, Bob Irwin, over the weekend. Bindi accused Bob of years of psychological abuse, saying that Bob has ignored her since she was a little girl. Bindi he says she'll now take some time to focus on the happiness that is her family. And finally, the Foo Fighters had a surprise for fans at their concert at Madison Square Gardens yesterday. They brought out comedian Dave Chappelle to perform Radiohead's Creep in front of the fully vaccinated crowd. Have a listen. <laughs> Not bad, Mr. Chappelle. If you want news.com.au with fewer ads and member rewards, get news.com.au premium today at news.com.au forward slash premium membership. That's it from the newsroom. We'll be back in the afternoon with another update. Your update from news.com.au.